So today is the 11th of November uh, 2024 and that is St Martin's Day, the day of the honour of a uh, Catholic saint who is very well known for uh, sharing. Specifically, he was born in 316 after Christ, or AD, short for some weird reason. And he, as a kid, he never wanted to become a soldier, yet when he became part of the Catholic Church, he ended up becoming a soldier anyway. And soldiers in the Catholics typically fought in crusades, but he didn't intend to do that. Instead, he always helped other people wherever he felt it was needed, especially uh, poor people. So one day at the uh, gate of Amiens, he met one of those and he just had his mantle with him and other soldiers saw him, the beggar as well, but didn't do anything. But St. Martin actually cut his mantle in half and gave one half to that person. And that was on a cold winter day. That led to him becoming very famous, uh, along with uh, exorcism, something like that. And he became the Bishop of Tours on 371. And there were a couple of uh, false stories related to him, but that act of sharing led to. Um, the 11th of November being chosen as a day of honour. He actually, that's a bit weird, he passed away on the 8th of November, 397. So why is it not 8th of November, but 11th of November it's being honoured? I don't know exactly why that is. It actually had a pre-Christian origin, at least the idea of the light that are very common on St. Martin marches and among the kids who would walk um, alongside the doors to try to find someone uh, at home they can call up to get some candy. That was actually a tradition that is very old. Um, in the 19th century it was already done in Amsterdam and it was of course, commonly uh, done among um, beggars and it was also done with other parties and holidays but St Martin is one of the most well known ones on the 11th of November. Those kids had candles or lights of different colours. It was only in the 1920s and 1930s that the uh, marches of St. Martin were seen as a tradition that should be kept, um, especially apparently after World War I, um, because on the 11th of November, that was also the day that for a time at least, World War I was being commemorated. Of course, nowadays the role of the Great War has been taken over by the second one, even though the fighters haven't expected that, by the way. Now, personally speaking, I really can't quite remember the uh, days when I was a kid um, and at St Martin's Day uh, we would walk around to these houses and most often people would be willing to share a candy with our group. Uh, we would arrive at a local playground in the centre of Utrecht where St Martin had a very special meaning because he was the uh, protective saint of the city. That isn't unique to our city but We'll get to that, maybe. And there we would create little uh, paper lanterns uh, that we could put a little light stick inside, which is the successor to the old candle. Seems a bit safer and a bit more environmentally friendly, right? And we would, uh, after we collected a central area, we would walk out into the neighborhood where people who um, had a candy, we would call up at them and each of us would get one of them, right? And uh, per person. And there were some exceptions, of course, people who didn't have anything would put up a special sign just so that the, uh, me and my fellow kids would know what to expect. 
Um, however, with another holiday coming up in Europe that is very similar in nature, there seems to be a bit of a rivalry going on between the two, with Swan Group really uh, preferring to celebrate Halloween and other people saying, oh, that's a bit too devil-ish and too scary. We would go with the more holy saint, St. Martin's party instead. And um, apparently there are even some special songs related to uh, St. Martin, um, which are very well known and have a lot been uh, sung a lot when we uh, went across the uh, the doors. Uh, even though they were mostly oral tradition, they have eventually been recorded. I um, didn't participate this time, of course, because I'm no longer a kid. In fact, uh, he said we would go on to the uh, longer marches throughout the city, which used to go along uh, poor beggars, just like the kind that St. Martin would give his possessions and eventually half his mantle to. Being the ones like hungry, cold, thirsty, ill, that kind of thing. And it all reminds us of the importance of sharing what we have. It basically is how some people have to survive. They can't work or get anything on their own. We have to give it to them. No matter the background or the reasoning. With that little bit out of the way, we've even been past that and I just tend to take some beautiful photos of the uh, lights that we come across as we walk with the, uh, with the march through the city. Anyway, I uh, hope to see you again. Bye bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.